Do you know that most shoes are bad for your feet? And there's a simple reason. They're poorly designed. If you have a hard time finding the right shoe size, that's normal. So in this episode of Commander, I will explain why most shoes are not foot shaped. We'll also see that there is a solution. Some brands are fighting back and making shoes that are not trying to kill you. If you think kill you is a bit of an overstatement, it's not. First, you have to understand that wearing comfortable shoes is very important because it keeps you active and healthy. You should know that 24 to 30% of the population suffer from foot pain, and having sore feet is a real problem because it's going to prevent you from moving around, standing up. It's even worse for the elderly, for whom it can cause fatal falls. However, all this should not happen because the foot has been designed to give you stability, but this stability depends a lot on the width of your foot. But today, the majority of shoes enclose your foot and compress it. In this 2015 study that analyzed 364 runners, 196 of whom had shoes, the remaining 168 did not. The findings of this study were pretty clear. Ill-fitting shoes worn for a long time deform the foot and prevent it from developing. In this study, you can see the difference between feet that are enclosed in shoes that look all crushed while for runners who did not wear shoes, their feet looked blossomed. But it's not only about foot width, your foot muscles have to be strong. Sadly, a lot of shoes are giving you too much support. This article from 2018 that demonstrates the importance of having shoes with the right shape. This is good to avoid pressure points that prevent the proper use of the foot. So today when you see this type of shoe or this, or even this, you are entitled to ask yourself, why do brands not design foot-shaped shoes? There are two possible answers to this question. To understand the first one, we need to go back in history. Look at this, the Jordan of medieval times. They were the fashionable shoes at the time. You can see that the influencers were wearing these in their selfies. So did we keep the very narrow shape of the shoes because that's how it was in the medieval times? Well, not exactly. Today we live in a modern world and we are able to measure and manufacture objects that are adapted to the human morphology. Such historical preference or the notion of inherited style might not be the right answer. There is in fact a second reason that is more likely to be the right one. At the start of the industry, some brands offered two to three widths per size. For obvious economic reasons, the majority of brands now only offer one width the most frequent determined statistically. That means that shoe manufacturers are building standardized shoes that will not fit you right, if you're not in the statistical sample. So you've already probably been through it. You're in the shoe department, you try on a pair, but they're not wide enough. So you look for the next size up. And there, they are wide enough, but they are much too big in length. Unfortunately, it would seem that maximization of profits seems to be a fair answer to our question. But luckily, there's a solution. Some companies are developing foot-shaped shoes. They are generally wider and leave room for your toes and you immediately feel the difference. Some brands go even further. They have shoes that not only have more room for your toes, but also have a barefoot feel. Generally, these shoes are lighter, almost foldable, less padded, and have a flat sole. This means that there is no difference between the heights of your back of your foot and the front of your foot. In order to avoid, as we have seen previously, unnecessary pressure points. In fact, a study from 2021 was conducted on 46 people split into two groups, 24 wearing normal shoes and 22 wearing minimalist shoes. This study concludes that after six months of using minimalist shoes, the feet can recover and gain up to 57% of strength in the toes. So today, adopting this new shoe style means you'll have to explore different brands. For that study I was telling you about, they used the Vivo Barefoot brand. But there's also German brands like Groundries or Splay Shoes in the US. And one of my favorites, Lems. It offers a pretty diverse range that can cover all activities from the mountains to the city. Now that you know why shoes are not foot shaped, you can check out this video to learn why the boats are red underneath. Or this one in which I answer the question, why do your knees make sounds when you squat?